As the world delves deeper into the mysteries of the past, we continue to uncover new and exciting discoveries about the prehistoric creatures that once roamed the Earth. From massive and terrifying predators to gentle giants, each new find offers a glimpse into the world that existed long before humans. In recent years, researchers have made incredible breakthroughs, uncovering species that were previously unknown to science and revealing shocking new details about creatures that we thought we knew everything about. These discoveries have sparked a renewed sense of excitement and wonder about the world that existed millions of years ago. Join us as we delve into the latest and most thrilling new discoveries about prehistoric creatures and uncover the secrets that these ancient beasts still hold. Lucorcan aleocranianus is a new species of dinosaur that was recently discovered in Argentina. The name Lucalcan is derived from the Baputogon language, spoken by the indigenous Mapuche people of Argentina and Chile, and means one who causes fear. The second part of the name, Aleocranianus, comes from the Latin words alio, meaning different, and cranium, meaning skull, reflecting the unique features of the dinosaur skull. The discovery of Lucalcan Aleocranianus was announced in the scientific journal of vertebrate paleontology in March 2021. The dinosaur belonged to a group called Abelosaurids, which were meat-eating theropods that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 80 million years ago. Lucalcan aleocranianus was around 5 meters long and weighed about 1,000 kilograms. It had a large head, powerful jaws and sharp teeth, which it likely used to hunt prey. One of the most distinctive features of the Lucalcan aleocranianus is its skull, which has a unique shape and structure that sets it apart from other abelosaurids. According to the researchers who discovered the dinosaur, Lucalcan aleocranianus was likely a top predator in its ecosystem, hunting small dinosaurs and other animals. Its discovery provides new insights into the diversity of the abelosaurids during the late Cretaceous period and sheds light on the evolution of these fascinating creatures. The discovery of Lucalcan aleocranianus is an exciting development in the field of paleontology and it's sure to generate further research and interest in the study of dinosaurs and their evolution. Kumimanu baisie is a previously unknown species of a giant penguin that lived in New Zealand during the Paleocene epoch, around 55 to 60 million years ago. The discovery of Kumimanu baisie was announced in the Scientific Journal of Nature Communications in December of 2017. The name Kumimanu means monster bird in Maori, the indigenous language of New Zealand, and Baisie honors the mother of one of the researchers who discovered the fossil. The discovery of Kumimanu Baisie is significant because it provides new insights into the evolution of penguins and the history of the Antarctic region. The fossil of Kumimanu Baisie was discovered on the South Island of New Zealand by a team of researchers from New Zealand and the United States. The fossil consists of a partial skeleton, including the leg bones, wings, and skull. Based on the size of the bones, researchers estimate that the Kumimano Baisie was over 5 feet tall and weighed around 220 pounds, making it one of the largest penguin species ever discovered. Kumimano Baisie lived during a time when the climate was much warmer than it is today, and New Zealand was still connected to the Antarctic continent. The giant penguin likely hunted fish and other small marine creatures, using its powerful flippers to swim through the water. The discovery of Kumimanu Baisie sheds new light on the early evolution of penguins and suggests that they were much more diverse and widespread than previously thought. It also provided new evidence for the theory that penguins originated from the Southern Hemisphere, specifically in the region that is now New Zealand and Antarctica. The discovery of Ceratodus hobsi, a new species of lungfish, was announced in the scientific journal Pure J in October 2019. Lungfish lived during the Triassic period, around 214 to 252 million years ago. The fossil of the lungfish was discovered in Queensland, Australia, by a team of researchers from the University of Queensland, the Queensland Museum, and the University of New South Wales. The fossils consisted of teeth and scales, which were then analyzed to identify the new species of lungfish. The discovery of Ceratodus hobsi was based on the extensive fieldwork and laboratory analyses of the fossils. The researchers used high-resolution imaging techniques, such as micro-CT scans, to examine the internal structures of the fossilized teeth and scales, and to compare them to other known species of lungfish. 
Through these analyses, the researchers were able to identify unique characteristics of the teeth and scales that distinguish Ceratodus hobsi from other known species of lungfish. They estimated the size of the lungfish based on the size of the teeth and scales, and determined that it was the largest lungfish species known to have existed. The name Ceratodus means horned tooth in Greek, and Hobsi honors the late Dr. Nicholas Hobbs, a prominent paleontologist who studied lungfish fossils. Lungfish are a type of fish that have both gills and lungs, allowing them to breathe both underwater and in the air. They're considered to be living fossils, as they've remained largely unchanged for hundreds of millions of years. Ceratodus hopsi lived during a time when Australia was part of the Pangaea supercontinent, and the area was covered by a shallow inland sea. The lungfish likely fed on small animals and plants, using its powerful jaws and teeth to crush and grind its food. The discovery of Ceratodus hopsi sheds new light on the diversity of lungfish during the Triassic period, and suggests that these creatures played an important role in the ecology of the region. It also provides new insight into the evolution of lungfish, and their adaptation to life in both water and air. Gungamarandu maunola is a new species of crocodile that lived during the early Cretaceous period, around 100 million years ago. The discovery of the crocodile was announced in the scientific journal Pure J in March 2021. The name Gungamarandu comes from the language of the indigenous Gumtash people of Northeast Arnhem Land in Australia and means river boss, while Maunala means serrated or sharp in the same language. The fossil of the Gungumurandu Maunala was discovered in the Wunumbal Gambera Aboriginal Corporation's Ungu Indigenous Protected Area in Western Australia. The fossil consisted of a nearly complete skull, including the lower jaw, as well as partial vertebrae and ribs. The crocodile is estimated to have been around three to four meters long and had a flat, elongated head with large serrated teeth the researchers who studied the fossil believe that the Gungumarandu Maunola was likely a top predator in the freshwater rivers and lakes of its time. The discovery of Gungumarandu Maunola is significant because it helps to fill the gap in the evolutionary history of crocodiles. It belongs to a group of crocodiles known as crocodiliforms, which includes modern-day crocodiles as well as the extinct species. The researchers suggest that the Gungumarandu Manola has a unique combination of features that distinguish it from other known crocodile species. Its flat head and large serrated teeth indicated that it had a specialized diet, likely preying on large animals such as fish or even small dinosaurs that live near the water's edge. The discovery of the Gungumarandu Maunala provides new insights into the diversity of crocodiles during the early Cretaceous period and the ecology of the region during that time. It also highlights the importance of continued research and discovery in the field of paleontology, particularly in the relatively unexplored areas of Australia. In 2020, a study published in the journal The Anatomical Record reported on a new analysis of the brain of a T-Rex based on the study of the inner ear of the dinosaur. The researchers used high-resolution CT scans to examine the inner ear structure which can provide clues about the animal's hearing, balance, and movement. Based on their analysis, the researchers found that the brain of the T-Rex was more complex than previously thought, with certain structures suggesting that it had better coordination and balance than other dinosaurs. The study also suggested that the T-Rex had acute hearing and was able to detect low-frequency sounds. However, the most surprising finding was that the size and complexity of the T-Rex's brain was more similar to those of modern-day birds and crocodilians than that of other dinosaurs. The researchers estimated that the T-Rex had a brain about the size of a modern-day emu and comparable complexity to that of a modern baboon. These findings suggest that the T-Rex may have been a highly intelligent animal with advanced cognitive abilities and a sophisticated nervous system. While the study doesn't provide direct evidence of the T-Rex's intelligence, it does suggest that the dinosaur was not simply a mindless predator, but had a complex and adaptive behavior. The study has sparked renewed interest in the intelligence and the behavior of the T-Rex, and has raised new questions about the evolution of intelligence in dinosaurs and other animals. Further research is needed to fully understand the cognitive abilities of T-Rex and other dinosaurs, but this new study provides an important step in that direction. The near-complete skeleton of a juvenile tyrannosaur was discovered in 2010 by John de Groot, a farmer and fossil collector in the Badlands of Alberta, Canada. The fossil was then donated to the Royal Tyrell Museum in Drumheller, Alberta, 
where it is studied and identified as a new species of tyrannosaur. The species was named Thanatotheristes de Grutorum, with a genus name meaning Reaper of Death in Greek, and the species name honoring the de Groot family who discovered the fossil. The discovery of Thanatotheristes de Grutorum is significant because it's one of the few known specimens of juvenile tyrannosaurs, providing valuable insight into the early development of these dinosaurs. The fossil is estimated to have belonged to an individual that was around six to seven years old when it died and lived around 80 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. The young tyrannosaur had some distinguishing features that differentiated it from other known tyrannosaur species. For example, it had a lower snout and longer facial bones than older tyrannosaurs, suggesting that the skull shape of these dinosaurs changed as they grew. The discovery of the Thanatotheristes de Grotorum also shed light on the geographical distribution of tyrannosaurs during the late Cretaceous period. Previously, it was thought that only one species of tyrannosaur, known as Despletosaurus, lived in western North America during that time. The discovery of the Thanatotheristes de Grotorum suggests that there was more diversity among tyrannosaurs in the region than previously thought. The discovery of the juvenile tyrannosaur, Thanatotheristes de Grotorum, provides important new insights into the early development and evolution of these iconic dinosaurs. The fossil is now on display at the Royal Tyrell Museum, where it can be viewed by the public. If you found today's video interesting, please take a look at our other videos available on our channel.